If it's getting hot out and your dog's getting a skin rash, if they've got really bumpy skin, then I'm going to talk about what you can do about that today. And let's jump into the very first question, which was sent in by Prajaktha, who says, my dog has many bumps on its body due to heat. I've tried many remedies, but there's just no result. The lumps are still there. What should I do? Well, I'll start off by saying that heat rash is actually a pretty uncommon problem in dogs. Uh, you know, at least in my experience, we absolutely need to be sure that there's no other cause for the lumps on the skin. And there can be a number of different causes for skin lumps in dogs. So we could, for example, have insect bites that's causing an allergic reaction, kind of like a hives. There might be some other kind of allergic reaction that's also causing skin swelling. So um, bites, it could be something, a, a chemical that's got on the skin, um, anything like that. We could have a skin infection, so multiple um, kind of hot spots, we call them, so like a moist pyoderma, dermatitis. Um, we could even get something like a mast cell tumour where uh, the, the mast cells are full of something called of histamine, which is what gets released in an allergic reaction um, and that can cause these skin lumps. We can also get other skin tumours that can look very different or can look like anything really. So there's a whole load of different things that we should be thinking about uh, other than just heat rash. You know, the history is going to make a lot of difference. Um, here in this case, if it's something that only comes up in hot weather and then it goes down and seems to clear when it's cooler, you know, that is going to suggest it's a, hot, uh, a heat rash. But if it's the first time that this has happened, then definitely getting the dog checked over by the vet just to check that there's nothing more serious going on or nothing that needs any other treatments. Now, if it is a heat rash, then really keeping your dog cool is going to be the key here. And that's going to involve access to plenty of water just so they could drink as much as they need to. Use a fan maybe just to help keep them cool. Have a cooling collar wrap or mat so you can get these things that you either soak with water um, and will help cool your dog through evaporation. Or you can actually just put in the, the fridge or the freezer and then you can wrap it around their, their neck or their shoulders and that helps them lose heat. You could give them frozen treats. Um, so freeze. Uh, dog food in a Kong which will help cool them down. You can have a sprinkler in the garden or a paddling pool for them to, to get wet in. You know, make sure there's shade if your dog's outside and if they're kept outside, make sure they've got some shelter so they can just get out of that baking sun. If they're overweight, then you know, losing weight is going to be a really big thing. So fat is a great insulator. And if they've got a big fat coat on effectively, then that's going to really increase the chance of them getting hot. Equally, if they've got a big thick coat, if they're, you know, the coat's very thick or if they've got long hair, then really grooming them, giving them a good clip out in the hot weather in the summer is going to help keep them cool. And then finally, if you're walking them when you're exercising them, stick to early morning and late evening. You know, so those are all good ways to keep a dog cool. And that should really, in the first instance, get rid of any heat rash. But like I said at the very beginning, if you've not already, get your dog checked over by the vet because it might be there's something else going on. You've been watching the Dr. Alex Answers video podcast. Remember to subscribe and head over to DrAlexAnswers.com for any links, downloads, and get your question answered.